But you've been to the cinema. Uh, I have, Liam. I've seen Thor Ragnarok. We're going to do a special, maybe. We are. I honestly don't remember much about the film anymore. Well, you'll have to re-remember. Uh, it's good. Uh, I had a few issues with some bits. I think it's the best Thor film. Yeah. I don't think I rate it as highly as you did, if I remember rightly. Uh, I think I gave it a four out of five, I think. I might. I think, but, but I think you were saying, you know, it's on... I think, were you saying it's like in your rankings of Marvel films? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember where you put it. You put it quite high up and I think I put it further down than you did. I think I would say uh, it's definitely top ten, maybe top five. I mean, there's not that many, so maybe it probably is top ten for me. What do you mean there's not still... that many? There's like 17. Yeah, so top ten is more than half. Well, maybe... <laughs> It could be one of their worst films and be in the top ten. I'm trying, because I... I, I right. Hang on, I'm just thinking. I know Avengers is my favourite. Spider-Man Homecoming is up there. Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one's up there. Iron Man, the first one's up there. And then it might actually be Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, okay, so for you it's top five. For me it's probably top ten. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, there's a couple of things that I had issues with. If we do a special, you'll find out all about. But uh, yeah, no, it's a good film. It's definitely worth seeing if you hadn't seen it. Fucking love Thor, love the Hulk. Yeah. Four out of five. Four out of five. Yeah, same as you. Thor. Thor out of five, Thor, Liam. Bloody, Liam. Oh, God. Thor, because... Liam, because he's the main character, it's Thor. And it's yeah. a Thor film, and that sounds a lot like four. So th- Thor out of five. Oh, I actually put Thor Ragnarok above Guardians of the Galaxy. Did you? I did. Mm. Uh, which made it my number four out of five. Oh, because he's Thor. There we go. Very good.